Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Como Planetarium. Well, what's that you say? You didn't know St. Paul had a planetarium? Well, we do. And it's right here at Como Elementary. Let's head inside and learn about this little known gem in the Como neighborhood. Well, I'm here with John Iverson. He's the director of the Como Planetarium. John, for folks who have never been to a planetarium before, tell us, what do we have here? Well, Como Planetarium is a 60-seat planetarium with a 30-foot diameter domed ceiling. On the ceiling, we can project content. Traditional, traditional astronomy content would be looking at the night sky, um, looking at the planets in the solar system. We're able to do that with a couple different types of technology. We have a couple projectors back here behind me. One is the old uh, Starball projector. It's been there since 1975 when the, when the planetarium was built. But about five years ago, we installed new digital technology. And that new digital technology is the technology that allows us to not only fly around the solar system, visit planets, visit moons, but we can also show immersive films up above our heads and enjoy content in areas that goes well beyond astronomy. Well, I love going to planetariums, but we didn't have anything like this in my school. This is a pretty cool resource for St. Paul students. Yeah, it is a great resource, especially for St. Paul kids and, and the students here in Como Elementary School, which is where Como Planetarium is housed. Um, students from across the district visit the planetarium, primarily first, third, fifth, and eighth grade students, but we're open to every grade level, anyone who wants to attend. Uh, we focus on things like, you know, why does the moon move across the sky like it does? Why does it appear to change shape? Does it appear to change shape? Does it move across the sky? Same thing with the sun. We look at the path of the sun and we take a tour of the solar system with uh, all, all the grade levels. And I understand kids from across the metro area come. Yep. It's not just St. Paul. Yeah, we have about 20,000 people visit the planetarium each year. And about 12,000 of those visits are from St. Paul students. But we also have students from districts all over the metro and even outside the metro that visit the planetarium. About 8,000 kids from outside the metro visit the planetarium every year. Well, that's really cool. Now, here's the best part. These shows are open to the public, right, John? Yep, they're open to the public. Uh, it's a great resource here in the planetarium, and we want to make that available to the public. So we're offering public shows, and the public show content often addresses the, the night sky. People are curious about the night sky, and being the only planetarium in the metro, this is a place people can come and learn about the night sky. But they can learn about content in other areas, too. So if you want to know what programs are being offered, you can go to our website, planetarium.spps.org, and see the schedule, and we'd love to have folks come and visit. Well, you keep reaching for the stars, and until then, we'll see you at the Como Planetarium. Come on down.